Good morning, everyone. So I'm here to tell you that you can have a really fun time at Magic Kingdom, even if you don't ride the rides. Um, if you're injured or you really don't like rides, can you still have fun at Magic Kingdom? I'm here to tell you that you can. I went to Magic Kingdom uh, and I had a blast. The only ride I could do was the People Mover. Uh, I do have an ab injury from a car accident. Looks like I might have to have surgery. Fingers crossed that I won't. Um, but anyway, I ha I'm here to tell you that Tiana's Bayou Adventure looks so cute on the outside. They're very detailed in everything. Princess and the Frog is one of my all-time favorite movies. Um, it's right up there. Ratatouille and Princess and the Frog are like my two top favorite movies. Um, just had a blast though. We I was able to try some of the new snacks, uh, see some of the shows, walk around, just um, really had a good time. So I do apologize in advance. The GoPro was cutting in and out because it was getting overheated. I did buy like a shade for it. We'll have to see if that will work, if that will help me out um, next time I go. And uh, there are some new changes coming up for uh, Genie Plus starting July 24th. You're going to be able to pre-advance uh, book some rides seven days before your vacation starts. It looks like it's a tier system. So there's going to be, you can book one of the top top tier. I think it's about four rides for each, each park. Each park is different. Then uh, the second tier, you can book two rides on that. And then the third tier, it just started raining. The third tier, um, I think you can book three. I might be wrong. I have to look into it more, but it is changing. I do kind of like um, this new change, kind of like a fast pass, but I like that you can kind of book ahead of time. Um, for us uh, uh, annual pass holders, if you're not staying at a resort, you can book three days in advance. I believe Canada residents are able to book in advance. Uh, all, all other international guests, I don't think you can. But let me double check with everything. I know they're changing. It's all new. But um, that is going on. Rock and Roller Coaster opened up. Uh, so anyway, like I said, I wasn't able to ride Tiana's Bayou. I'm looking forward to it. The store was not open when I went, but I cannot wait to get back in there and see all the new merchandise. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. Like it, subscribe, share. It doesn't cost anything, but really helps us out. Like I said, um, you know, life happens, car accidents happen, and sometimes you have to just take a break from things, and that's okay. Uh, we'll get back there and uh, see what you do, but I hope you enjoy the the video and have a great day. Oh, you got the special this I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, yeah. There's nobody else to go on this yet. It's, it's over tomorrow. Um, I think I
your safety. If you have wings, jetpacks, or gravity polarizers, please do not take flight while on board. Thank you. Next station is Tomorrowland Urban Planning and Star Traders. Transfer to Green and Red Line. Don't worry, your express train keeps on rolling through the future. I find two of my favorite spots. First up, Progress City. Walt Disney's amazing dream for a community of tomorrow. Did you know Progress City inspired Epcot? And a lot of the visionary ideas throughout Walt Disney World. Look, there's even a tiny people mover. I wonder if that means there's a tiny ORAC. Now to Progress City. On the right is Star Traders, home to the greatest goods in the galaxy. Except actual stars. Those are no longer sold. Tomorrowland Speedway and Tron Light Cycle Run. I love a good circuit, and these are two of the best tracks in the cosmos for a bit of light, speedy competition. to dream of a great, big, beautiful tomorrow.